Hello everyone, it is time for October's month in Rewind. So for the beginning of October, I actually was on vacation up to New York. Um, by the way, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. If you have not been there, go there. I'm not talking about the actual New York City. I'm talking about the Catskills in New York. Absolutely beautiful. I actually missed a Mystery Manny upload because we were on vacation at that time. So when we got back the next Sunday, I actually did two Mystery Mannies. So for the first one, I completely spaced it out that October is supposed to be Halloween time, so lots of Halloween Mannies. So for the first Manny that I did that Sunday, I actually just picked out, um, what is this one? This is Simple Colors Golden Roses and then OPI put it in neutral. So for this Manny, I wasn't thinking about the Halloween themed Mannies but I was still on that kick of negative space manis. So I used these two polishes and I painted all of my nails with put it in neutral, painted an accent nail with uh, golden roses, and then I did a negative space mani using some 3D water decals of flowers. And I thought this mani turned out very, very pretty. These two colors together were absolutely gorgeous. For that second Manny, I chose Pretty Serious, Smoochy, and Zoya's Wednesday. So when I first saw these two colors, I was kind of freaked out. I didn't know what I was going to do, but then I remember that, oh yeah, we are in October, so I have to try to create Halloween-themed Mannies using the polishes that I pick from Mystery Manny. So I kind of kicked that around a little bit, and then I came up with a ton of ideas. I had so many that I was writing them down, the ideas that I had that would look really good with these two colors that I actually had to narrow it down to only one because I was just coming up with so many different ideas. So the Manny that I decided to do with these two colors was Frankenstein. So I did a smoosh Manny using these two polishes and then um, I used a stamping plate with Frankenstein on it, which I will leave the link for it down below. It is by Mundo de Unas. Oops. I don't know how you say that. It's a great company. They have amazing stamping plates. I have so many Halloween stamping plates from them because they are so good. So anyways, I used that stamping plate and put um, Frankenstein on the smoosh mani of these two colors. Then I used another stamping plate that had um, marble patterns on it and I stamped that on the other nails that I had the smoosh mani on and I think that turned out really really cool. I thought this was a great start to Halloween themed mannies. I liked it a lot. These two colors were absolutely perfect for Frankenstein. I love that one. For the next mystery mani I chose out Salon Perfect's Mermaid of Money and then Lottie's Riot. So when I first saw these two colors and the, the name instantly made me think, I want something mermaid, something to do with uh, water kind of thing, because this is what I was feeling with these two colors. So I was looking back at my stamping plates, and I found one, another one from Mundo Stay Unz. I'll link that down below. It's another really good one. It was for Disney villains, and I decided that on that stamping plate was Ursula. So I was going to use Ursula and create a Manny using these polishes. And I don't know about you guys, but... When I first saw the movie, uh, The Little Mermaid, Ursula terrified me. She still scares me right now. She is a badass woman. <laughs> Scary. But anyways, for this Manny, I decided that I wanted to do a sponge uh, gradient. So I did a gradient on all of my nails, and then I used a, another stamping plate um, and did, like, bubbles. I think that's what they are. It's, like, water bubbles kind of thing. And I put those on my nails and then I decided that I wanted to do that Ursula. I did some reverse stamping and filled her in and she was looking nasty as heck, scary. <laughs> but I thought that Manny turned out really cute. For the next mystery Manny, I chose out Look Jim, I'm Eating You and Juleps Francis. Now when I first saw these two colors together, I had no idea. I looked at these two, I looked at the names, I looked at the colors. I could not think of any way that I could spin these two colors into a Halloween themed Manny. So what I decided to do was uh, look back at my stamping plates. Again, I have a ton of the Mundo de Unas, Mundo de Uns, I don't know, Mundo de Unas, I don't know how you say that, but they have really good stamping plates. So I did go back and look at the stamping plates that I have and I found one with 
Beetlejuice and I'm like this is perfect instantly I thought I wanted to create a Manny that somehow looked like beetles were like crawling out from under something in my mind it sounded really cool it looked really cool but I wasn't sure how I was going to do that so I decided to paint all of my nails with look Jim I'm eating you and then I put on one nail um, I stamped on Beetlejuice and then the rest of my nails I kind of randomly stamped beetles at least what I thought were beetles but one of you let me know that they looked more like cockroaches I don't know they were creepy crawly bugs I don't know I don't know how to tell the difference so I decided to um, stamp those bugs in different like uh, areas of my nail all over kind of just random so then I took uh, Francis and again randomly painted little areas kind of over the bugs and then I used a green metallic striping tape to tape off the area and I don't know I thought it turned out really cool I don't know if it was quite what I saw in my mind but I still think it turned out really cool and again was another really fun Halloween Manny. And now on to On Wednesdays We Wear Pink. So for the first On Wednesdays We Wear Pink, I used Nail Hoots April Showers Bring May Flowers. This is such a gorgeous polish. For this Manny, I actually took inspiration from a picture I saw on Pinterest where it was uh, spiders and spider webs. So I decided to do that with this. I thought it looked really pretty in the picture. So I kind of put my own little twist on it with using this light pink polish. And then I used um, white stamping polish to stamp um, spider webs on and then a black stamping polish to stamp some spiders. I thought this was really pretty. I think this was my favorite uh, Halloween themed Manny because it was still kind of girly and cute. I don't know. I like this one a lot. I thought this turned out really, really pretty. For the next on Wednesdays we wear pink, I chose this one here by LA Colors and this is called Kiss Me. This is a gorgeous bright pink polish. Again, I had no idea how I was going to spin this specific color into a Halloween themed Manny. I wasn't exactly trying to do um, Halloween themed manis for Mr. Er, for on Wednesdays we wear pink, but I knew I was going to do it for a mystery manis. That was kind of the goal for mystery manis during the month of October. But I decided if I could swing on Wednesdays we wear pink, that I would just do that. For this manny, I used a stamping plate with skulls on it, and um, there was a really cute girl kind of looking skull. So I stamped that on, and then I stamped another uh, design with flowers and skulls and I thought it turned out really pretty. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do to tie the whole Manny together was the stamp that I did the girl skeleton skull with the uh, bow on it. I painted over the bow with Kiss Me and then I did little dots on the actual uh, design of skulls and I thought that turned out really pretty. That uh, roses on that actual design too that had the skulls and roses I did paint the roses with that with this uh, kiss me I thought that turned out really cool it was a very pretty uh, girly type uh, Halloween Manny but like I said in that video I would have worn that Manny any day of the week I thought that turned out really cute and it was another really cute on Wednesdays we wear pink Halloween Manny the final October on Wednesdays we wear pink. I used different dimensions and this is October 2018. This is a gorgeous light pink holographic polish. It is super shiny, super gorgeous. I loved it. I thought this was absolutely beautiful polish. I did get this in a kind of mystery grab bag. It is my only different dimensions polish but I definitely need to go and check out more polishes by this brand. I think it's really really good. So for this Manny, I decided I wanted to do a witch's theme. So I just painted all of my nails with this. And by the way, this has amazing coverage. Almost completely opaque in the first coat. If I would have did a little thicker coat, it would have been completely opaque and perfect. For the witch themed Manny using this polish, I decided to stamp on one nail a witch. On another nail, I stamped resting witch face, which makes me laugh. <laughs> it's so funny. So then um, on the other nails I paint or I stamped on stars. The design that I picked 
had like three stars and my nails at the time are kind of short you know not not super long so I wasn't able to fit the whole design of three stars on there so I just kind of split it up I thought it turned out really pretty I liked it a lot and I thought it was a great way to round off the Halloween themed manis So that is it for this video. Those are the manis that I created during the month of October with a Halloween theme. Let me know down below which one of these was your guys' favorite. I have to say for Mystery Manny, my favorite was that Beetlejuice one. I thought it turned out really cool. Not exactly how it was in my mind, but I think it turned out really cool for being on nails. And my favorite on Wednesdays we Wear Pink is that uh, very first one with the spiders. I thought that turned out really pretty but also the um, one with the skulls and the girl's skull with a bow. I think that turned out really cute. And like I said, I would wear that any time of the year. It's very, very cute Manny. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.